Good morning, how are you all doing? Um, we're on part number nine. Uh, it's on page 72 of the book. And um, let's give it a go here. I'm going to go new <clears throat> part, which I have to change mine to change mine to millimeters every time. So let's have a look at this problem here. This is a piece of, piece of cake. Um, the the problem on um sorry my brain's a little bit slow getting I haven't had my coffee yet. Uh on the CSWA exam for SolarWorks there's a problem like this where they have a basically a wheel with cutouts. Okay, so I'm going to, for how how I tackle these problems, I'm gonna imagine that this wheel doesn't have any cutout whatsoever and I'm just gonna make a um a solid wheel and then we add one cutout and then we'll pattern it, all right? So uh, what is the diameter of the wheel? 95. So let me start, look, let's just start off with that. We'll put it on the front and um, we'll make this 95. All right, that's okay. And what is its thickness? Its thickness is six. And we'll create another sketch. Now, what size is this wheel? This wheel is the big one. Is Jesus? Am I missing a dimension? Um. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thirty-six. And then we add the fillet. Um. So we need thirty-six. And then what the hell is the other one? Thirty. So let's get the thirty-six going. Six and how high does this come up? This comes up three. Um, I'm working just on a side note. I'm working on a program called Factory IO at the moment, which I'm going to release all the videos. It's it's pretty. It's a. It, I, I want to use the word amazing. It's a good piece of software. Um, it it it's it, it's it's it is it, it is a good piece of software. So you're going to see. Um, what I've been doing with that, but I'm going to release a lot of videos at once. Um, we're using it in the capstone class, and uh, I just I don't want to make the video. I want to, I don't want to put all the videos out just yet. But wait, I think you're going to enjoy this when I send it when I put it out. <clears throat> so this is thirty. Thanks. All right. And uh, I'm going to uh, cut this hole through. I think that's right. And then we may as well add the fillet. Now the fillet is radius three. And I'm just gonna put that in that corner there. Oh, make sure it always has full preview on. I've never ever used any of these other fillets. I'm kind of curious if anyone, any of you ever had. So I always just use a constant fillet. Now, um, I'm gonna create a sketch on this face. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I'm thinking the first thing I want to do is, is, excuse me now, is get maybe that 45 degree, or maybe we get two circles. Okay, I'll do this. I'll just get two circles. And then I need a center line. And I think I'm pretty sure this is 45, but it, I, I feel like that should be on there. Um, anyway, we'll make this 45. And then we need a line. What we'll do is we'll go offset and we'll make it, uh, what is it? It's 10, isn't it? So if I go 5 and I click on one line to there, that works. And that, can I do the same again? Offset to there. Um, now just let me think here for a second. 
we don't need that other line and I'll get a center line going from there to there now is that that's 90 degrees isn't it yeah yeah so that's 90 and then this is going to be 90 as well and I'm going to go and do an offset of 5 to there now I'm bollocksing it up there we go and then what's this big one radius 40.5 that's 81 is that right radius for 80 81 okay 81 and then what's the small one uh 44 what's ollie up to babe hmm? what's ollie up to he's downstairs okay um looking out the window okay okay so we got that um let's put that back okay um now if i trim this can i trim this here we go i'll, I'll do that now i think that's my cutout um And then what is the radius? The radius is five. Where where did I see that? Now that's saying that's seven from there to there and eighteen. I wonder why I put those dimensions in. Um Yeah, let's just check that anyway. Let's see this. From there to there is seven. Okay, and then we have the radius five. okay now let's just yeah that looks about right i'm going to cut that all the way through that's my my cut out through all and i just need to pattern that so what do i do i go to circular pattern i open up my feature tree here i want to pattern this guy um we want four of them you give it you got to give it a pattern axis i can click this um face or I could click this face and I can go OK. Um, I think that's it. So I'm going to check a few things. I'm going to go um, to evaluate. That's kind of early in the morning. My brain, I'm not feeling too confident right now. What's that? That's 10. Um, yeah, that's it. OK. Uh, next thing you're going to do is right click here. 1060 to change its mass you're going to come up to mass properties and damn it i just gave you the answer right there okay um so that's the answer to part number nine okay so i'm going to move on to part number 10 now in a few minutes